friends and welcome back to 42 Gear Street, Les Deux. And I'm here with a lady who likes to go down to the basement to laugh. And... <laughs> no, it's so not true. <laughs> but you, here in Germany, you know, that's kind of like a fun saying. Everybody goes like, Germans go down to the basement if they want to laugh. That's brilliant. I love it. I, I, really? So, Jen Majura. Or Jen Majura. Jen Majura. Oh, look at that. Yeah. The lovely Jen is with me today and... We're going to have a little chat about what she's been doing in the past because obviously everybody knows that you play in Evanescence. I don't know. My mom, when I told her I got the gig with Evanescence, she was like, ah, daughter, I don't, I don't know these heavy metal bands. <laughs> I'm like, mom, you know this band. They had a great big hit on the radio. No, daughter, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and then I told her, like, hey, listen, the song is called Bring Me <laughs> to Life. So I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> and then one day I remember she drove in her car and my mom is old school, she never uses her cell phone. And uh, she was driving back from work and she used her cell phone, I think for the very first time ever, right. to call me and tell me, oh my God, I do know that band. I'm like, mama told you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I was gonna say, did you not play it to her? I did, but then she was like, still, and daughter, I don't know, I don't know these metal bands. It was, yeah. And then I mean, it, was, it was a beautiful moment when I, when I took my parents uh, out for a show we played during our European tour. Yeah. We played Verona in Italy. Oh, wow. And we played at the, I think it's the second or third oldest Colosseum in the world. How romantic. And we had like 15,000 people in the audience. And my mom, I saw her the entire show standing on the side of the stage and she was crying the whole time. It was oh. so beautiful. That's lovely. It was really beautiful. Absolutely. And my dad was taking videos and pictures all the time. He was like, I'm so proud of my daughter. Yeah, that's, that's really, my, that was cute. That's my daughter. That's my daughter. <laughs> and it was really, it was very, very special. It's, it's always special when family comes out to your shows, you know. Do you think that was one of your most special moments on stage? Or have you got um, a real memorable, cannot forget, single moment, standout moment? Possibly the first time you get up with the band. One, one of the first shows I played with Evanescence, we did this beautiful um, acoustic version of My Immortal. And it was just Troy on guitar, me on guitar, and Amy in, in between the both of us, and she was singing. And uh -huh. I remember we played that song, and I looked over at her singing, and I, it just hit me. I had goosebumps all over my body because I'm on stage with Amy Lee and Evan. I'm I'm not just listening to it. It's I'm I'm on stage with that band. <laughs> and I literally I had a tough moment. I was playing and I like had a little tear in my oh, eye. Oh wow. And of course somebody in the audience filmed it. So there's a YouTube video. You can look it up, Jen crying on stage or something. Oh, <laughs> that is so sweet. So <laughs> tell us how you got the gig in the first place. Um Alex Golnick. <laughs> Alex Golnick got me the gig because uh, I used to play in another band. Right. And we played two festivals, one in Germany, in the south of Germany, and one in Czech Republic, I believe. Right. And on the same day, like uh, me with that band, was a Testament. Oh, and I've always yeah. been a Testament yeah, fan, yeah. man. I love their songs. I love Alex playing. I love him as a person. He's, he's an amazing, amazing person. Yeah, for sure. And we talked, and uh, a couple of days later, he was like sending me an email. And he's like, listen, friends of mine are going to reach out to you. And I was like, what the heck, Alex, what are you talking about? I can't tell you too much about it. Was he in the Mafia? Huh? Was he in the Mafia? <laughs> it, it was really, I was like, what, what, what is this all about? And he's like, Friends I can't. Friends of mine are going to reach yeah. out to you. Friends of mine are going to reach out. <laughs> but I can't, I can't go any further into detail. I'm like, okay. But I recommend this is something you should say yes to. Well, and then I remember I got that email and... I, I didn't even finish reading that email. Oh. I, I read the request and I'm like, yes, sent. That <laughs> just was one it. word. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just literally yes, sent. And then oh. I finished reading the email and that's how I got the gig. And uh, a couple of days later, I was on the phone with Amy. And then she was nice enough to invite me to New York and we've spent, I think three, four days together. I, I wow. asked her like, hey, do you yeah. want me to bring my guitar? Do you want me to audition? And she's like, nah. I know you can play. Wow. Let's just hang. That is amazing. And actually, it's a really nice way to get into a big established band. I was talking to Phil X at Gitcom. Oh, about Phil. <laughs> and he's beautiful. He's a beautiful yes. soul. And just talking to him about the Bon Jovi thing. And of course, he was just filling in 
to begin with. Exactly. And that's a tricky one. But to be sent an email, do you want to join this band? It's, yeah. Hmm, let me think. Yes. But, you know. And you know the thing is, I I keep I keep saying that a lot because it's so true. If you have to replace a band member, it's like you have to replace a family member. It's yeah. it's so hard. And to find a virtuoso on his instrument, whether if it's guitar or bass or, well, bass, sorry. <laughs> that was mean, Jen. Okay, but it's easy to find somebody who basement. plays. Great. Yeah, I have to go to the basement now. It's easy to find somebody who's a yeah. genius on his instrument because there are so many, like the world is crowded with fabulous musicians and yeah. talented musicians. But then on the other hand, you need to find somebody who's got the kind of, cool to to tour to live on a bus to travel a lot you know like commit your life to that because music is your passion find yeah. somebody like that that shrinkles the list a little bit down a little bit a massive amount i mean who but you know what like the last spot and that is like the biggest thing for me personally because amy and me i think we think alike a lot yeah think alike a lot a lot alike no, that's the, both words. whatever you know what i mean so um if you have that list now, you need to find somebody who you can stand to be around and spend time with 24-7 on tour. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you think about it, the, the show, what is it, like 90 minutes? Yeah. What about the other 22 and a half hours, hours. every yeah. day? Sure, I mean, when we get day offs, like we would probably some... On days off, you don't necessarily hang. No. Although we sometimes do because we're really friends and we go, I don't know, bowling or just, I don't know. So it's a proper band. Now that's the thing, I think with, with music and with bands, if it's if it really gels on stage mm -hmm. and in the studio, you kind of do get on personally as well. Obviously, touring and being with a band is, is a hell of a pressure because you are in each other's pockets all the time and you're going to find things that you do disagree on from time to time. So they're, they're, it adds extra strain, but it shows a really good band and it shows a really tight unit when they go out and socialize together and i like seeing that That's absolutely really, really cool absolutely and it's really it's true i mean um i had i, I play sometimes on trade shows and stuff and mm. i i made will come over from our drummer will hunt yeah and he flew in to play those trade shows with me and it's, we're friends we're like yeah. family and this is something beautiful and something that is not the usual let's let's keep it that way because i i i have never experienced something like that Beautiful thing, yeah. But it's not the only thing you do, because oh, I you do so many. have. I cook got, as well. You cook. I cook. I right. Today's video is a cookery lesson. With, it's the cooking with vlog. Jen. <laughs> we're going to cook up some some tunes and stuff today. No, we're cooking up a lick, though. Yeah, we are cooking up a lick. Um, but first, I wanted to hear a little yeah. bit about your solo project because. You are now working on a solo project, which is called... Something on Eleven. Something and I'm sure a lot of musicians will get the joke behind that name. <laughs> this one, we just play music that goes to Eleven. Um, it's a guitar project. It started out as a guitar project uh, right. with my friend Alan Brentini from Croatia. Right. And um, he's also playing Abanes guitars and we kind of like wrote stuff just for fun. And then I was like, hey, you are a singer, I am a singer, we both play guitars, why don't we just write an album and, and do something? So we have recorded eight beautiful songs and wow. we're going to, and this is the first time I say this. Exclusive. You heard it here. We're going to release our album November 13th this year. Wow. Yes. There you go. I will, as soon as I can, put a link in the description down below so that you can go and buy her wonderful album. So, how And if you still have money left, you can also buy my two solo albums that I put out already. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and also her lit course and... <laughs> and yes, my cooking course. Uh, cooking I'll, course. I'll, open a, uh, like, I'll soon write a book about cooking recipes, Thai recipes and so No, I'm not. And lots of great pasta dishes. And you also can watch my One Minute Jams advertising a little bit myself, I'm sorry, but have you, have you seen my One Minute Jams?
No. No! Okay, it's it started out as a joke, also with Ellen. Right. Because we were on the phone, like, hey, shall we put out something positive? Yeah. You know, like, I always think, like, putting out positive vibes, good energies is so important. Oh, totally. Especially because, at times like these. Exactly. And for whatever reasons, I do not know why humans often like to complain. I, I hardly complain. I mean, I do, but, you know, it's, it's, it's more about s s focusing and spotting the positive things in life. Totally. And then focus on your good energies. Every person has a certain amount of energies. Yeah. And that energy is precious. And if you waste eighty percentage of that energy with just yelling, being angry, hatred fueled, like whatever, it's it's wasted energy. So I, um, I I was determined. I was on a mission. I wanted to put out positive vibes, and um, we recorded a one minute and thirty seconds cover <laughs> of uh, yes, not the whole song, just a cover of one minute and a couple of seconds of. Um, Blame it on the boogie. Oh, Jackson nice. Five, because I thought like, oh, everybody's gonna dance. This That's cool. up and up. It has that been during the lockdown. Exactly. It oh, was exactly wonderful. when the pandemic thing started. Brilliant. And on drums there was my friend Kyle Hughes. Um, he's playing with Marco Mendoza and Bumblefoot and all the guys. And so literally this was the first one. And then I don't know why this whole thing went crazy. And by now I have so many unbelievable musicians who joined it's like as, as guitarists for example um, Bumblefoot joined, Ron played yeah. the jam, uh, Alex Skolnick of course, Matthias Ia Eklund uh, played one song, Gus G was was with us, Joel from Whitesnake. Wow. It's just like crazy and the list keeps going and growing and growing. Drum wise I thought it hit me hard when, when Mike Mangini said yeah sure. Mike Mangini, uh, Mike Tirana, Mike Portnoy, um, Marco Miniman, they Whoa. all said like, yeah, let's do this. Let's put out positive, good energies. And I love that. And yeah, I think I'm going to do that for quite some time. I think so. it's a wonderful idea. So I'll link to those as well. Yes. And it's you should brilliant. totally, if you haven't seen any of these, watch the la latest one first. Right, okay. Because I've got Nico McBrain on drums. Nico! Oh <laughs> my word! <laughs> I saw yeah. him at NAM. Now they were setting up the day before. Uh, we were in on a press pass, uh -huh. and I thought I won't bother him while he's setting up because I'll see him. Let me have a guess. He walked up to you. No, no, no. no. <laughs> worse than that. Worse than that. I then queued three days in a row and didn't get to the front of the queue at all, so I didn't meet oh. him. And I've been an Iron Maiden fan since 1980. <clears throat> Whatever. So. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, yeah, that was really like, I was I was losing my mind. I was jumping up and down in my apartment, crying like a baby and screaming and dancing and... But like you, I think that listening to Nico on the Iron Maiden YouTube channel, he's a very, very positive person. I know he's a, a, a devout Christian, but also he's just got a positive vibe yes. and a positive energy. And I, and I couldn't imagine him not saying yes to any project that was a positive thing. Exactly. And what well on? That's amazing. That's yeah. such a that's a right? <laughs> yeah. No wonder you smile so much. I'm it's, a smiley person. So you know, the, Thailand is the country of smiles. Really? It is. Well, there you go. You make me smile, which is a good thing. Good. That's a it's a very positive thing, and I think that's why. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. That's why you have had the success that you've had. Because you're not the sort, you don't strike me as the sort of person that would take a blow and sulk about it and go, oh, that sucks. You're the, I think you're the sort of person that goes, I'm going to show them. Let's and do this! Let's do this, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Again, a big thanks to Jen for having a chat today. I Come on, should let's, mention, let's, let's, let's. I should mention Boom. that you are here with Synergy Amps. Absolutely. And you use the Friedman mainly, the Synergy yes. Friedman, and just the, the, HBE. the HBE. HBE. Brilliant. So again, can we perhaps have a little bit of a play out, a little bit of a riff out on your... Perfect ending. 
a big thanks to Jen. And as always, if you've enjoyed this, and you definitely have enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. It can't hurt to subscribe. And if you do, don't forget to click the bell. A big thank you to Henning Pauly for this wonderful event, 42 Gear Street Le Deux, and for making it so safe and socially distanced. And also a big thanks to all the guys that have been working so hard behind the scenes doing our switching and all the technical stuff. They never get enough thanks in my opinion because they do yes. work so hard. And a big thanks to Robin behind the, uh, behind the switcher here and to Tonio and to Michael who's organizing all of these videos. And I'll be back really soon with the best content I can. But in the meantime, let's do that thing now. So good. And Bye. Take good care. And it's Jim Majura, is that spell, is that how you... Oh, if you're from Spain, you would call me Jem Jura. <laughs> if you're from... Yeah, but I don't want to put phlegm all over this. <laughs> Jem Jura. Jem Jura. <laughs> but you would say Jen, Jen Majura. Men, Jen Majura, excellent. Or Men Majura. Men Majura. <laughs> that sounds rude. Hen Hanura. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, um, I'm rolling, so start. Oh. <laughs> Okay, thank you. You're up, we got that on camera. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, that laughter really clipped our recording. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My? Sorry. I'll take the level down a tiny bit. <laughs> we'll try not to laugh too much. This is serious, okay? Really? This is so serious. This is the most serious video. You're in Germany. Everybody in Germany is so serious. <laughs> If we want to laugh, we go down to the basement. <laughs> Duh. Well, Jen knows that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Actually, I have an aunt that is exactly like that. <laughs> you have a what? A an, an, an auntie. An auntie? <laughs> yeah. That was very <laughs> English. An auntie. <laughs> auntie. <laughs> I see. The, the, the sister of my father is exactly like that. <laughs> Aww. She, she doesn't like to laugh. Well, I like to laugh. I'm a goofball. Right. Okay. Let's do this thing. Hey folks! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> but now, for real, come on, for yeah, okay. real! Back on me, back on me. Hey friends, and welcome back to here, 40... St 40 <laughs> Street! <laughs> it's the heat of, of the moment! moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the last video of the day. We're gonna get this. We'll, 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 we'll tear this up once we get started. It's gonna be great. I you can take all this as You're gonna take all of this in the beginning and it's have a, like yeah. thousands of repetitions of Hey you for <laughs> <laughs> But now for real. Hi ever <laughs> <laughs> Oh okay, I'm sorry. Sip your okay. <laughs> hey friends and welcome back to Forty Stu. <laughs> I can see you in the corner of my eye. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good God. Come on, we can do this. We're we pros. We can do this. We are. We're pros. Definitely, definitely. We, we got okay, this. Like, go. last video of the day. Come on, we got this. Hey, friends, and welcome back to 42 Gear Street, Le Deux. <laughs>